All right, we're good? Mm -hmm. All right, boys and girls, uh, we are going to do a couple of diagrams today, and we're getting to something called the HR diagram, which stands for Hertzsprung Russell diagram. But before we get to that, uh, I want to uh, do a practice diagram with you. And what we're going to do is on this, uh, this axis right here, these axes, uh, we're going to take a bunch of people's pictures and put them on here based on two things. First of all, their hotness, how physically attractive they are. Uh, sadly, some people are not so hot looking, and so they're gonna be at this end, right? If they're sort of medium looking, well, we'll put them in the middle here. And then if they are super hot, uh, very attractive, then we're gonna put them down at this end. That goes from right to left. I know that's a little bit different, and we'll talk more about that later, instead of left to right, but it goes from right to left. So all of these, the farther you come left, the more attractive you are. And then we're also gonna have popularity, <clears throat> how well known they are. If they're not very popular, they will be down here along the bottom. As they get more popular, they move up, and if they are extremely popular, then we put them along the top, okay? So there are two characteristics we're looking for with each one. How attractive are they, and how hot they are, and how popular they are, okay? So let's take uh, somebody that you probably know, uh, if you ever grew up uh, watching um, Harry Potter. There we have Hermione, okay? So I think, and this is all my opinion, I think that Hermione is pretty well popular. I think a lot of people, especially in the United States, know her, and I think that she's pretty physically attractive. So on this right here, I don't think that she's ugly, right? Uh, that's a rude word, but not so hot. I think that she's gonna be somewhere down in here probably, and I think that she is very attractive. Uh, sorry, I think she is very well known. She might not be the most attractive person, but she is an ugly. Uh, and so I'm gonna put her like right about there, okay? Let's pick somebody else who is also uh, pretty well known. This you may know is Jack Black, Nacho Libre right there, okay? He's pretty popular. I don't think he's all that handsome though, okay? So in terms of hotness or attractiveness, I think he's gonna be more down here, okay? Not so hot. I don't think he's the ugliest guy around, but I think he's probably right around here. But he is pretty popular. I think he might be as popular as Hermione over there. So I'm gonna put him right about there, okay? So he's not the ugliest. The ugliest person would be right here. He's a little bit more handsome than that. <clears throat> and he is pretty popular, so he comes up from the bottom. The least popular people would be somewhere along the bottom there. Moving on, uh, I think this guy is pretty handsome, but he's like nobody. Nobody knows him, all right? He was just modeling a suit, okay? He got picked out of a magazine. So I'm gonna say that for attractiveness, he's pretty attractive, but for popularity, he's not going up very high. He's gonna stay right down here because the only people who know him are his family and friends, okay? Um, and then here's another guy that, here's another guy that nobody knows. Uh, he's, he's really not very attractive, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sure his mother loves him. I hope she does. But um, he is not so hot. So he's going way down here and uh, he's not very popular at all. Nobody knows him. So he's like going right about there, okay? Uh, this guy's a pretty good looking guy but he's not really popular, so I'm gonna say he's average looking. I would say he's right about here, eh, maybe even a little bit more, but again, he's not very popular. Not very many people know him. Uh, here's Sheldon, some people know him, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, I think that he's pretty popular. Uh, I don't know, some people think that he's really attractive and some people don't. Uh, boy, don't get mad at me, but I'm gonna say he's probably as uh, popular as Jack Black, um, what do you think, uh, Ms. Bose? I'm going to take him a little to the not so hot side. Not so hot? Mm -hmm. He's less than Jack Black? Yeah. All right, so Ms. Bose has made the decision for me. I think he's probably about as popular as Jack Black, but maybe not as handsome as Jack Black. Uh, here's just another average guy right here. All right, I'm not going to say he's incredibly handsome. He's not ugly either. He's probably like this guy right here, but not very popular. <clears throat> Tom Cruise, if you watch Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise, uh, I think that he is probably more popular than these people here. I'm gonna say he is, and I'm gonna say he's probably about as attractive as Hermione is right here, so I'm gonna put him right about there. And then we have a wonderful picture right here. That guy right there, 
I don't even have to tell you who he is, all right? The world's most attractive and most popular guy. So if you are super hot, like this guy is right here, and very popular, boy, you're gonna be like right there. So this is our celebrity diagram here. Why did we do this? Well, we're going to um, pause the camera in a second, and we're gonna do an activity like this, except with uh, instead of having celebrities and movie stars and TV stars, uh, we're going to have real stars, the stars that we see up there in the sky above us. And we are going to find out how scientists uh, put them on a diagram like this. So we'll pause for a second and come right back. <laughs> 